With regular in-person voting at risk thanks to the coronavirus, there's a lot more interest in voting by mail. A Facebook post had this key reminder. Do you really need to put two stamps on a mail-in ballot? Hi, I'm John Greenberg with PolitiFact, and it's time for a truth a meter Minute. In the big picture, mailing your vote hasn't been super common, but that's the way 8 million people voted in 2016. Five states, Colorado, Hawaii, Oregon, Washington, and Utah, are strictly vote by mail. This year, with COVID-19, this option is getting a lot more attention. Not all of it is positive. No, you can't do that. You can't do the mail-in ballots because you can have tremendous fraud. President Donald Trump is definitely down on mail-in voting, which has some Republicans worried because they've done very well with mail-in votes before. But getting back to the Facebook post, what's the deal with the two stamps? If you don't live in one of the 18 states that give you a postage paid envelope, you do have to use your own stamps. And in some places, a ballot will weigh enough that it needs two stamps. But the U.S. Postal Service has your back on this. They will deliver a ballot if it doesn't have enough postage, even if it doesn't have any postage. Later, they'll collect from the local election board. Time now for the rating. The claim was you need two stamps on your mail-in ballot. Depending on the weight of your ballot, that's possible. But even if you don't have enough stamps in the drawer, the post office will still deliver your vote. We rated this half true. That's it for this truth a meter Minute. For more fact checks like this, go to our website, politifact.com, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay truthful.